talking about nth roots and rational exponents, and we want to find the nth root of numbers. So in this case, uh, where we have the word root or roots, uh, if it's plural, if we're using the S, that means that we're talking about having an even root. That will give us possible two solutions. If it's just if it's just root, that then we're thinking that it's going to be an odd, just one solution. So anytime we have an, we're taking the even root of a number, we should be thinking uh, two roots. So for example, first one we come to, we have the fourth root of sixteen. So we can rewrite this as the fourth root of 16. And whenever we want to take something out of the radical, we have to have the same set as the number that's outside the radical. So basically we have to find that many matches. Uh, if, for example, we took the square root of four, that can be rewritten as two times two. And so understood, we have a two on the radical, and then once we have two pairs under, we can take those out of the radical. So then this answer becomes plus or minus two. So where we have a two here, now we have to look at what we have here. So we have a four. So we have to find four matches to bring it out of the radical. So how can we rewrite this? Uh, well, if you know the fourth root of 16, you can write it down, or you can try to break down the 16. So I'll leave it as the fourth root of and how, what are we, we know is 16. We know 16 is four times four. And then we also know that the fourth root, we can break this down further as two times two for that first four, and then two times two. So now we have four twos under the radical with a fourth root. So we know that we can take a two out. And because it's an even, um, on the radical, we have to account for plus or minus. As we look over at part B, we're looking at the second root, uh, the square root of negative 49. So in this case, we do not have to write down the number on the radical in negative 49. Uh, in this case, because it's negative right away, we know there's no real solution, no real roots. So find the indicated real nth roots. In this case, we don't have them. We can rewrite that, but uh, not what the directions ask for. Okay, now we're on to some odd radicals, so the third root or cube root of negative 125. And so we got to come up with numbers that there's three of them. And in this case, we can write this as the cube root of negative five times negative five times negative five. And so our answer for this one is negative five. Again, whenever we have an odd integer on the top of the radical, uh, we do not have to worry about plus or minus. We just, whatever the solution is, that's what the solution is. And then we have the fifth root of 243. And the fifth root of 243 is three. 